Dave, you're at the summit of League Two now. We spoke a couple of weeks back and discussed the irrelevance of the league position at, at this stage, but surely it's a nice indication that you know we're well and truly back on track now. I'd certainly be, certainly rather be at the top than the bottom for, for, for sure, um, but it doesn't make a like I say a, a great deal of difference where where we sit. It just like I say it shows that we're we're in a decent place, we're in decent form. We've put a run together, um, which has put us in a position that we want to um, make sure we're in uh, come the end of the season. Um, so it is a, a marker of, of where we are, um, but in the grand scheme of things, means certainly from a. I suppose a staff perspective means very little from a player's perspective. Yeah, it's great to be able to, I suppose, look at um, whether it be the TV, whether it be the papers anymore, um, to see that you're sat at the top of the league. So long may that continue. I know you sit down as a team and, and discuss games in blocks. When you go on a run of form like this, do you ever look back and almost backdate the current points total and potentially introduce the plans or ideas that you may have had earlier on in the season? No, I think it's important as best as you can to try and fragment what is a long season. Um, I'm, like I said last year, really, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in probably going against that and saying you judged over 46 games and it doesn't really make a grand deal of difference when you get your your points in order to to sort of um, equal that, that tally. So the points you finish on at the end of the season will be in most cases, the points that you deserve to finish on. Um, but if you can get ahead of the curve and you can, um, I suppose, like like Leighton Orient showed last year, really, in terms of the start they had to the season was was unbelievable. That allowed them to um, have a little bit of a drop-off in terms of results as the, as the season progressed. Um, we've, in terms of results, not started the season as we as we would have hoped, but our results in the last last month have, have allowed us to, I suppose, make up make up that ground a little bit. Um, but we'll still focus on, like I say, the, these the, the blocks that we, that we speak about in terms of um, targets over that period. And ultimately, we know if we meet them targets and surpass those targets, then we'll be in a good place um, at the the business end of the season. When you think back to those initial discussions with Mark, Simon and your, your team, you know, prior to the start of the season, where does where we are now compare to the initial plan A, so to speak? The plan this year was to get, was to get promoted as, as the plan was last year. Um, that's really easy to say on, on paper and, and, and in, a, in, a, in a room. Um, what you have to try and do is make sure you carry it out or do, do the best you can to carry it out on the pitch. And, like I say, without repeating myself, football is filled with variables. We've had um, the adversity, I suppose, this season of injuries, which have um, at times decimated our squad and took real, real quality out of it, which has reduced the depth, which has made things a little bit more difficult. We're now in a position where we have got players coming back. We've got players in decent form. Um, and we'll get to a point where with everybody fit, hopefully, we're struggling to... Um, to sort of pick a an eighteen, and we're having to leave good good players out. That's what that's what hopefully the the, the depth and the th strength of have will give us an advantage over over other t other teams. Um, but that's listen, nothing's changed from where we were last season to where we are this season in terms of what we want to go and try and achieve. And hopefully that'll be the case. You talk about the injuries, and I know there was talk of getting some minutes in the tank of those looking to make a return to action soon. Have you managed to arrange anything for those players to benefit from, and, and if so, what's the latest? Yeah, we played a, a game um, on Tuesday evening at Man City, um, which, again, for the other ones who needed minutes, was good. So, what's with increased minutes into his legs, Neuler, first involvement with him, Miles, um, and others that need, like I say, others that needed the needed the game mixed in with some some younger ones. So, uh, listen, a, a good um, a good workout um, takes us into this week in terms of a Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday week is always going to be going to be tough. And um, but with that toughness brings opportunity. Um, before we, I suppose, move our focus onto what the FA Cup brings. But th three, like I say, three important league games for us this week with an opportunity to to get nine points, an opportunity to keep the run going that we're on. Looking ahead to tomorrow, Grimsby are aside, still in search of their first away win of the season. They did do the double over us last year, however, so what challenges can you expect from them? Yeah, they've been mixed to start of the season, like I say, 
okay and, and I've had a little bit up and down in terms of results but we know the threats that they that they pose just as they know the threats that we pose so they're um, they're high intensity in terms of about it um, they'll get runners forward they can play in different different ways in terms of as we've seen previously in terms of the, the games that we played last year against them whether it was whether it was counter attack and, and making or making the most of the opportunities we presented them with our mistakes or whether it's being on the front foot. So um, we'll cover all bases in terms of what we ex ex expect from them. But we have to, like I say, continue what we've been been doing. And, and if we do that, as we've shown in the, in the recent past, then, then we're a threat with the with the quality that we, we have. Um, but again, we go into it knowing that if we're not at the levels and we don't maintain them levels, then the, the result and the opportunities we present to them give them a, a chance of um, of taking something and, and winning the game. So we've got to make sure that we're we're right at it. Like I say, we've huge motivation in terms of where we where we currently sit. We want to make sure that remains the case, and we'll do everything we can to, to win the game tomorrow. You mentioned the midweek minutes, um, and obviously Cal Wharton has been back on the grass both here at Carrington and at Edgeley Park. Is there anyone else likely to make a return for tomorrow's game? Um, potentially, uh, I wouldn't like to say rule anything out in terms of what we look at. We'll see how, how players are today um, and make a decision on the on the squad. The one thing for certain is that um, the squad's an awful lot stronger than it was two weeks ago and, and three weeks ago. And, and we hope that that will continue to be the case over the next, next two or three weeks when um, the ones that aren't the long term ones but like Stretz and um, Ryan within that everybody else hopefully should see a should see a return and if that's the case like I say this squad um, is is more than capable of, of being in a position and staying in the position it want to be. Dave thanks for your time and all the best. Welcome cheers thank you.